All right, well, we're back again. I'm trying to see if I can source a used control unit for this monster. Working on a few different courses there, trying to get one of those cheap so I can play with it before I decide to really bite the bullet and buy something new, one way or the other. Uh, sorry about the buzzing. I got my battery charger on this thing because it is definitely sucking this battery down and I'd rather not kill it. But I think I'm going to start today with trying to do something that I probably should have done immediately. And that is check all the fuses and stuff. Because we got all sorts of little fusey guys in here. Related to all sorts of different things, and I know most everything works, but we're going to just take a look at all these fuses and see what it looks like. Just for grins. So I'm going to just start picking away at those and see what we can come up with. All I'm going to be doing is grounding the uh, terminal and then just going to both sides of each fuse see if uh, you know which ones are hot which ones aren't and we'll turn the key on and do the same thing and well, I'll probably just check continuity yeah I'll probably just check continuity through each fuse because that'll at least tell me whether they've blown or not without taking them these look like you can do it you got the little metal pieces that stick up so you can test it so that's what we're gonna do now I don't think this is gonna be too exciting although somebody has definitely used the spares they're not there anymore, so that's, uh, I guess, another interesting tidbit. So that's what we're going to do now. All right, well, I checked all the fuses. They all look good, or they all tested good, and you can see, maybe, under there, these vertical things with the numbers on them, those are fuse blocks as well, and none of those look blown. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, everything else looks good voltage is there. It's from my battery tender at this point, so it's showing about 13 volts. And uh, everything looks pretty good. This is interesting. Pretty wild that that's still on there. That's not a sticker. But uh, yeah, so those are all good. Now we're going to move inside. I think there's a fuse box or something up underneath the dash in the driver's footwell, so we're going to go see what we find there. I'm not expecting anything interesting, but we're going to check them anyway. Down under here, you got all sorts of fuses and relays and wiring harnesses and stuff. Fairly easy to get at. Pop this off and then the, unplug the two little switches. They are all good from what I can see. What I checked, they all have continuity through them. So I didn't expect to find any fuses bad because this isn't striking me as a fuse issue. It's still a brick issue. But uh, yeah, so that's all good, I suppose. We're going to give the uh, wiring harnesses just a little wiggle and uh, see if anything else interesting happens. But I'm thinking that's a dead end there. I, again, I didn't expect it. I didn't expect to have any issue to find anything there. But then what we may do is uh, start removing that module. Because everything's showing that the DC to DC converter is bad. And I found a few little forum posts online about that. My symptoms are identical to, and all the codes are identical to the people who've had that issue and fixed it by changing that module. So we're going to start uh, looking at that. It's most likely what we're going to do now, because regardless of what's going on, that's going to have to come out to get fixed, whether I can find a bad solder joint and fix it, because that's what the recall was about, or I have to replace it. So it's coming out. So that's going to be our next step. That ought to be entertaining. It, it's fairly straightforward. Um, I just print the uh, print the instructions, and we'll start pulling that out. 
But we're going to start it up just for giggles and see if anything's different. Because definition of insanity is to do the same thing over and over until something else happens, until something different happens. Uh, so, why not? What do I do with that key? That's not the key. I had the key. Yeah, that's right. I set it up here so I wouldn't lock it in the car. <laughs> okay. Thinking those two other lights are because of the, the switches that are unplugged. Yeah, because one of those says LDW, and that's one of the switches, so... Yeah, nothing's different. Still the same. Yep, and it's not showing any access to the battery. She's just showing gasoline going into the car. Whoop! Bumped the, bumped the wrong switch. Alright. Well, as I expected, no difference. Let the battery keep charging. And we're going to start pulling that module out. Fairly simple. Doesn't look too bad on the outside. I'm about to find out what's going on on the inside, though. So... Let's see if we can get this off. Is that it's dead anyway, so one. Come on. Two. All right. Let's see if we can find some bad solder joints, because this is what caused them to recall, not recall, but extend the warranty on this thing, was the solder joints. Which is pretty crazy. Oh, and there's, I think there are the famous, world famous IGBTs down in there. Those also have a tendency to fry. I don't see anything right off the bat, although this stuff looks A little interesting. The little caps don't look blown. I'm gonna go get a magnifying glass and a good light and I'm gonna give this thing the once over twice and see if we can figure anything out because this is what supposedly is failed according to the codes. Well I don't see, use my magnifying glasses, I don't see any obvious bad solder. Some of the joints look a little suspect, but I think that's because of the, uh, the flux they used is kind of cakey and cracky and crappy at this time. But everything else looks clean. I don't see any obvious signs that something let the smoke out, which is interesting. Everything else looks pretty solid. I think that's a fuse. I wonder. I wonder what that is. Kind of looks like a fuse. Huh. Well, we're going to look that up. It is. That is a 30 amp fuse. So I'm going to go get my multimeter and just test it. It's probably fine, but why not? Yep. And as I expected, she's still good. So that's not the problem. The difficulty here is you can't get this top plate off because it's soldered to stuff on the bottom. All these ver all these pins sticking up through. Those were set down in the heat sink. And then this board was set on top of it. And unless you want to unsolder every one of these, you can't pull this board off. And I'm not that ambitious at the moment. But I'm going to pull that other module and see what the hell that is. We're about to find out. All right, well, the way the other module wasn't terribly interesting. Similar to the other one, nothing I could see obvious. Popped the back off of this thing, got the cover off of this. Again, 
no obvious problems. Of course, it didn't say it had a problem back here. This looks to be some of the um, high voltage stuff. A lot of three phase connections with by the looks. Uh, everything looks good. So, I don't know. I do not know. Kind of bummed out. I wish I could have seen something obvious. And I do not. So, we're going to keep poking and I'm going to keep trying to source a used one of these things before I go throw big money on a, you know, $500 version of this thing or $1,800 pile of this whole thing. Because, I mean, the troubleshooting says this is bad. There's nothing in there that looks bad, but then again, what do I know? So, anyway, we're going to put this thing back together, throw it back into the car, and have it not work. I'll probably pop this cover off, too, just for grins to see what's in there since I'm in. Since I'm already in here, what are they going to do? Not warranty it? <laughs> oh, well. Well, it's all back in. Fairly simple module, the whole doohickey to take out and put back. Mechanically, ain't much to it. Um, I did look this number up, and that is the converter. The DC-DC converter. This black wire that I've covered up now, but there was a black wire there. That's actually the 12 volt, 12 volt output. So that's a hot wire, which is strange that they made it black. But um, Yeah, so not that I'm going to expect anything different, because nothing is different. But we're going to turn the key on and watch nothing happen. Uh, come here. Yeah. Alright, all the lights are still on. Yep. Yep, nothing different. Why well, I would have thought there would have been. I don't know. But, yeah. Still the same issue. So, I'm going to look around to see if I can find one of these. I'm thinking I am going to end up having to buy a new one. Uh, for about 450 bucks. Because the used ones of just this module on eBay are like, 500 450 I mean, if you're going to spend $420, $430 for a used one, why not spend $450 for a new one with a 12-month warranty, at a minimum? So, I'm going to keep poking around, see if I can find any uh, junkyards willing to part with one of these cheap. I'm kind of doubting it, because I've already had one cancel an order today. So that it didn't meet their specifications. I think they realized they had a price wrong. But, uh, yep, there we are. So, I believe that's the suspect module. It can be changed without taking this whole thing out, though, which is kind of nice. So, we will uh, keep you posted. Thanks for watching.